Boy. Today and tonight we have just seen some significant flooding across the state, even down into Tennessee. But we also have had a couple of severe thunderstorms that kind of popped up a little bit earlier this evening around 8 o'clock, starting off over around the Bowling Green area. They were under a tornado watch. And then we had a severe thunderstorm watch for a portion of South Central Kentucky. Watch how the lightning just kind of rolls across southern Kentucky. That's where most of the energy was as their temperatures pushed up into the low 70s today. So these storms had something to feed off of. Stopping it here, this box, particularly over Wayne County, there was actually some damage reported of a possible tornado that could have briefly touched down. The fire department, of course, has been out assessing the damage and we'll get some official reports over the course of the next couple of days from the National Weather Service. But again, this was on top of the very heavy rain, the extreme rain that has been falling across the state again from uh, the past couple of days, really about 48 hours. So totals across the weekend have been pushing up to four, five, maybe even six inches of rain in some spots from the Kentucky Mesonet sites. We did see a couple of spots reaching six inches. Somerset coming in at almost five inches. This is radar indicated, so these aren't official totals, but this just goes to show you how widespread this event was, mainly across our viewing area. Southern Kentucky got hit hard in a Rock Castle County, Laurel County, Clay County was hit hard from this. It's probably easier to tell the counties that weren't hit hard than the ones that were because this was so widespread across the area this afternoon, especially and into this evening. Instead of the flood watch, basically a good chunk of the state is now under an aerial flood warning. This just goes to show you that we have a lot of water running very quickly. Road closures, we have uh, some damage from other storms reported, but again, the water is the worst part of this. Aerial flood warning continue for a good chunk of the area, including Lexington until 630 AM. And then this map keeps changing, so I've done the best I can at putting some times on these when they expire, but they just kind of overlap. So Lexington not under a flash flood warning, but there are several flash flood warnings. That's from where that water just fell in such a hurry, such a quick pace that the water just had nowhere to go. Most of these will expire at 3 a.m. So again, across southern Kentucky and eastern Kentucky, those were the hardest hit areas. We'll continue to kind of hone in on these times, I believe, as the night wears on. The good news is most of the rain is finished. We still have a few showers to go, maybe pick up another quarter to half an inch. I know you don't want to hear that, but it's the truth. The cold front continues to push out. As that happens, the showers will definitely weaken behind that. Pushing into the wee hours tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Still looks like southeastern Kentucky could pick up a few showers. The wind switches to out of the northwest. Colder air comes in tomorrow. It won't be a cold day per se, but definitely cooler than the high temperatures we had, which were in the 60s and 70s today. And so for tomorrow afternoon, we should begin to see more sunshine taking shape. And after that, high pressure takes over, and that's going to bring us much needed sunshine to help the waters recede as we step through the next couple of days. Quick passing low pressure system down to the south late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. But notice rain chances are minimal for this week, so we'll take that. We need it. We need a break. 38 for your low temperature tonight. Still a few rumbles of thunder, some flashes of lightning. Definitely cooler tomorrow. Seasonable highs around 48 degrees. Sunshine for the afternoon, then sunshine in abundance through the eight day forecast with high temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Lows turn a bit cooler, 20s and 30s.